Some weapons have existed for the past 10,000 years. They are deadly and extremely powerful. And today, I'm gonna show you to master the five deadliest ones to this day. Starting with the most ancient weapon of all. This was used about 250,000 years ago. And today, I wanna learn to fight with this and throw it with accuracy. Step one, the fighting technique. The main attack of the spear is the thrust. Maximum damage and maximum reach. And I got it pretty much right away. <laughs> It's insane! Alright, now there's one thing left to try. Throwing the spear. I tried first with a pineapple, and after getting extremely close a bunch of times, this happened. <laughs> I cut it off! <laughs> I literally cut it off! So then I tried again with a different target, and this time... I destroyed it. Yes! Yes! Let's move to the next ones! I had four insane weapons left. And the next one is the sling. It was used about 6,000 years ago. And it basically allows you to shoot rocks way faster than you could throw them with your own hands. And after watching a few videos, I realized how powerful this thing actually is. I decided to actually build the sling using a paracord rope. Worst decision ever. It took me half an hour to understand how to do it. But at the third attempt, I had my sling. And I was extremely proud of it. <laughs> All right, now let's test it. This is the target and I'm gonna try to smash it. The technique is pretty easy. You gotta swing the sling and let one of the two ends of the rope go when you wanna shoot. But when I started trying, I wasn't powerful and even less accurate. It all comes down to coordination between hands and eyes, swinging hard and shooting at the exact right moment. And after practicing for a while, I was getting power. I was shooting rocks really fast, but I was still missing. My plan was to get really good at hitting targets consistently. And then I was gonna place my laptop next to the target to force myself to succeed. I'm picking all the five insane weapons we're gonna test from my civilization in Rise of Kingdoms. My girlfriend is playing the game in real time and I'm gonna pick new weapons based on her progress in the game. Oh my god! All right, I wanna try five different weapons for this video, which means you gotta unlock five steps of technology inside the game. Okay. And you gotta do it fast. Like, what do you mean by fast? Like before Christmas, which is in four days. If you can't make it, this video will fail. But if you can make it, I'm gonna give you $5,000. That's right. All right, guys, my technique is there. I'm throwing rocks extremely fast. It's just that my accuracy is it's not there. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for a while and then we're gonna get back to this and we're gonna get it. I was kind of frustrated after failing the sling. I really wanted to smash things. And luckily, my girlfriend unlocked iron working. Swords, hammers, maces. So the mace is weapon number three. Maces were used about 5,000 years ago. And then in the Middle Age. Because with the more advanced technology, they were more effective and powerful than swords. And when I started trying, it didn't take me long to realize why. This thing is insanely powerful, like it's crazy. And we have a hard test to test the actual power of this thing. But first, how fast and accurate it is. To test it out, I tried to hit a few fruits mid-air. No problems with a big fruit. Why for the small fruit? It took me even less than that to achieve something similar. It disappeared. <laughs> it disappeared. Here is a skull. And then we have a helmet. <laughs> I want to smash the helmet and see what happens to the skull. Everything was ready, but I had no idea what was gonna happen. Anyways, I loaded my swing and... <laughs> oh my god! I guess the helmet didn't work really well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got two more weapons left and the sling. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are back to this. I think I found out what I was doing wrong. I was basically making the sling spin consistently. I don't need to do that. I just need to do it once and it's way better. You see this? We are gonna destroy it. I was confident I was gonna get this. I tried over and over, but it took me just a few minutes to realize that what everybody says about the sling is probably true. It takes hours and hours and hours of practice to get good at this. All right, guys, it's raining. And I couldn't get it yet. But I couldn't stop without trying one more time. And just like that, this happened. <laughs> oh my god, I got it! I got it the last time! This was 
so satisfying. Oh my god. All right, it's raining right now. We're gonna stop for a while and then we're gonna get back to this. I wanna get consistent with this and we're gonna smash so much stuff. That gave me a huge boost of confidence. The next time I was gonna try this sling, I was gonna smash targets and get the final challenge. I went back to my girlfriend to find out the next weapon, basically before Christmas. Okay, we got two days to finish this video. I'm making progress. Okay. I'm rushing, but I unlocked a bunch of new technologies. All right. And thanks to that, I'm basically destroying everyone and I got crossbows too. Crossbows. Oh my God. So what I was trying to learn the sling, you got crossbows. <laughs> yeah. The crossbow was probably invented 2700 years ago. And with more technology comes more power, but I wasn't expecting it to actually be this powerful. Then I tried again and hit the target perfectly. I actually got it. <laughs> Where's the arrow? Where is the arrow? I found it here, like from there to here. That's crazy. The first test was about finding out the penetration power of the darts. And honestly, it kind of blew my mind. That thing is pretty hard. That's crazy. How many bullets can I hit with a single arrow? The goal would be three of them. I only got one shot because I am in the middle of nowhere. So I need to shoot perfectly straight. All right, let's try it. And even this time, the crossbow exceeded expectations. This thing is insane. Insanely powerful and it's so satisfying to use. I'm gonna try the hardest test of all. It is literally impossible since it can't basically aim. I'm gonna try to blow out a candle using an arrow. That was so smooth. <laughs> Let's try it. I honestly wasn't even hoping to get it. I had no sight, so I had to aim intuitively. Kinda like you do with a bow and that makes it way harder to be accurate. But I shot anyways. <laughs> yes, go! Literally the first attempt. Oh my god. I only had one last weapon and the slingshot left. So I went back to Elena. I think I unlocked all the five technology steps. And so she wins $5,000. She built an insane civilization. She picked Rome, obviously. One of the 13 civilizations you can choose in Rise of Kingdoms. And she created an insane art by unlocking advanced technology for all her soldiers. Even the flaming projectile to the battling rams. I cannot find any ancient weapon to match that progress. So I decided to create my own weapon using modern technologies. I'm gonna create a fire sword. Age of invention, 2022. I know this is possible, of course I, I never tried, but we are gonna do it today, all right? To put the sword on fire, you gotta use a specific flammable liquid and place it on the sword's blade. But I'm just guessing. Anyways, I tried and absolutely nothing worked. I even tried with a Zippo liquid, extremely flammable, and nothing happened once again. I wasn't expecting this and I had no idea what to do. But then I watched the tutorial and I realized creating a fire sword is way more complicated than expected. The technique I saw in the tutorial consisted in carving the top part of the blade, placing fabric in it, and fill it with flammable liquid. But when I tried to do that on a cheap sword, I just couldn't. It's not working. This cheap blade is not thick enough and I'm just destroying it, basically. I mean, I, I got the really nice one, but I just don't want to break it. But then, I think I got an idea. I thought about a non-destructive method, so the sword is gonna be on fire, but I'm not gonna ruin it. I basically glued a roll of fabric to the blade on both sides and had no idea if this could actually work, but this, this was the last chance. So after pouring Zippo liquid onto the fabric, a lot of it, I tried and it blew my mind. No way. No way! <laughs> no way it works! <laughs> I immediately tried a few movements with the sword. And guys, I was not expecting this. No, oh my god, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. I got so close to give this one up because I had no idea how to do it. And maybe that's why I loved it so much when I did it. Or maybe it's just because this is really, really cool. <laughs> At this point, I only had one final weapon left, probably the hardest one of the list, the sling. Before attempting the final challenge, I had to get consistent with this. Yes! All right. I had a few targets and I wanted to hit them from different distances. I started being close to the targets and from here, after failing for 30 minutes, I finally got it. Yes! Yes! Next target. I'm gonna try from five meters right now. And then 10 with the laptop. And so I started trying from five meters and I got really close right away. Oh my God, let's try again. And after a few more attempts, I got it again. I mean, I touched it, all right? Right after that, I got a clean hit. Yes! And another one right after. Yes! 
this is gonna be the target for the final challenge. And to prove that I actually got extremely accurate, I'm gonna place it right next to my beloved laptop. Let's do this. This was extremely scary. Had to be careful and make sure to hit the skull, or at least hit in the left side of it. I kept trying over and over, and as usual, I was close. I was scared, but I knew I was gonna get it. Thank God I'm super close to the skull. We only need one shot that it's wrong and I'm gonna lose my laptop. All the weapons were extremely fun, but there is something so primal and ancient about the sling. It's fascinating. I'm so close though. I also wanna thank Rise of Kingdoms one last time. You can finally play in PC version, providing a smooth gameplay experience. And with the cross-play ability, you can enjoy the game wherever you prefer to play. It was a matter of chances at this point. I was getting tired, so I was either gonna hit the target or hit the wrong target. My God, I got chills. But after a while, this happened. Yes! Yes, go! Yes, go! Scan the QR code to download Rise of Kingdoms and use the promo code you see there. Seriously, you gotta try it. This game is so great. It's free to play and my girlfriend and I had a ton of fun, so I think you will like it too. Go check it out.